Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to convert a Python dictionary into a pandas data frame. First we'll need to start off by importing pandas as pd, and we'll need a dictionary to convert. Here is a simple one that I made with three keys, and the values associated with each of those keys. To convert the dictionary, what we'll want to do is name our data frame, in this case, df, and then say pd.dataframe. Notice the capital D and capital F on data frame, and then we'll pass in our dictionary. And there we have it. Our dictionary is converted into a data frame where the keys of the dictionary are now the columns of the data frame. One thing that we need to keep in mind is that each of these lists of values need to be the same size. So if we had four elements with this first key, we would get an error stating that all of our arrays must be the same length. If in your case you have an unequal amount of elements with each key, what you can do is either just delete some data but that's never really a great idea. So what we can do is just say pd.na. And now we'll keep all of our data, but then the extra elements will be filled with na. If we want to create a data frame using only some of the keys in the dictionary, what we can do is specify columns is equal to the list of column names that you want. So let's say in this case, we want key one and key two. And then a data frame with only the keys specified are returned to us. There may be some instances, however, where you want the dictionary keys to be the rows of the data frame rather than the columns. We can do that fairly easily. We'll follow this a similar process, pd.dataframe, except for this time we're going to add on another method from dict. We'll pass in our data just like before and then we'll say orient equals index. This tells pandas that we want the keys of the dictionary to be the index or the rows. This can be helpful, however, our column names are not very helpful. We can specify the column names. What we'll wanna do is pass in the argument columns equals, and then specify a list of column names. So I'm very good at coming up with column names. So I will call them call one, call two, call three, and call four. The most unique column names you've ever seen. And we'll run that. And we see our columns are now named how we want. And we have our dictionary keys as the row index. If you have any other questions, leave those below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thanks for watching.